everyone, Christina Careless here. Uh, this is going to be my GIMP tutorial on how to create a vector. Uh, we're going to do the sun vector. It's the one that you're looking at, minus the text. And I'm going to teach you how to create it into a brush so you can use it over and over again on GIMP and you won't have to recreate one. Okay, so first I'm going to uh, show you what I did. I've already got one started, but uh, you're just going to click File, New, and you want to do a 500 by 500 uh, picture. So it'll be 500 pixels and it'll look like this. But I'm going to do a quick example for you guys. It's going to be on a really small one and it's going to look horrible, but it's going to show you what you need to do. Okay. So see, this is very tiny, so it's going to be very pixelated. But it's easier for you to see what I'm doing since the boxes on the 500 by 500 are really small. Okay, so you're going to create a new layer, and you're going to select or, uh, select your view, and go ahead and click Show Grid. Now see, this is really big, but on the 500 by 500, it's really small boxes are really tiny and I don't know if it'll really show up for you guys. So uh, we're just going to do an example on this. What I like to do is take a square, which or a circle, which doesn't quite look like a circle right now because it's all pixelated, but and just click it over the center. That way I know where the center is at all times and I won't lose it. Okay, then you're going to take your uh, free select tool and you're going to click in the middle and drag out to a corner and in this one I'm just going to do one box big like one box down one box over and you're just going to select that and fill it in with black okay this is the up close and very pixelated version of what I'm going to be doing but this is what it should look like for you when you're done doing that and for you to get this exact length I did uh, three down and three over. You can change that to, you know, five down, five over, or one down, one over, which would take a long time, but uh, whatever size vector you want. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and just continue on this one, and we're going to duplicate the layer, and duplicate it again, and then again. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use the flip tool and just create or make it so it's all over. Um, okay, so now it's all in the four corners and they're all even. So I like to use this as like my starter. So I'm going to go ahead and merge down all the layers for these. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate it. I want to rotate it by 45 degrees. So now it's going to be like that. Oops. Oh, I forgot a step. <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, duplicate this layer. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and rotate it again by 45 degrees. Alright, so now you've got that. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and merge it down, and I'm going to duplicate it again, and I'm going to rotate it. This time, instead of 45 degrees, because it would just set it back to where it is, I'm going to go ahead and do half of that, which is 22.5 degrees. Alright. Okay, now with this, I like to, um, you can leave it at this, and you can use this as a symbol just to background, or you can create a, uh, a third color for a background. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, I am duplicated that layer, and I'm going to go ahead and invert it. So now it's white. We have a black and a white one. We're going to go ahead and take the white and rotate it 
um, half of the 22.5, which is 11.25. Let that work. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and delete the background so that you can see. And you should have the black and white now. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take away the grid so that you can see what, it, what the final product will look like. Um, I, you want to delete the background because you want the background to be transparent. That way you can either add a layer in between here if you want it to always be the same color or you can just leave it black and white that way you can always select it and change the color once you're editing the picture. Okay, so um, now that you've got this, I merged all the layers together and you're going to uh, save it as a GIMP brush. So you're going to click Save As and it's going to bring up um, wherever you want to save it. You are going to go to wherever it has GIMP 2.6. Click on that and then click Brushes. Uh, go ahead and name your brush. So I'm just going to say this is vector. Dot. And to find the extension, you're going to go ahead and click select file type by extension. Um, and scroll down to GIMP brush, which is GBR. That way it'll save it as a GIMP brush for you. You save it. And see, I already have a vector one so I'm going to cancel because I already have this exact vector but pretty much what this is going to do um, is you can we're just going to make a new one and we'll just make it 500 by 500 again and now I'm just going to make the background pink so make that pink make a new layer and now my GIMP brush is in here uh, since you're going to have to um, save it, your GIMP brush actually will not be in there the second you save it. You'll have to exit out and restart the program, but there you go. That is how to create a simple vector and turn it into a brush so you can use it over and over again. Alright, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and if you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe.